Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where I share beginners friendly fashion design tutorials. Please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. Also, do not forget to like this video, comment and share it to your friends. In today's tutorial, I'll be making a kimono jacket and the measurements we'll be needing for this tutorial is the shoulder measurement and the sleeve length then the kimono length how long you want it to be and then your hip measurement or your bust measurement any of the two can go just go for the biggest measurement so that's it this is the fabric i'll be using for the tutorial as you can see it's already folded on the table it's folded into four i have for here, it's folded this other side. This is for the front and the back, and this side will be the center front and the center back. So all the measurements will be going this side. Let's start. So I've marked my starting line. Mark the length, how long it's going to be, and the length, the measurements I'm working with is 40. I'll add two inches for any allowance. So that will give me 42. I'll mark it. First thing I'll mark is the shoulder measurement and the sleeve length. So first of all, I'll enter the shoulder measurement. And from the shoulder measurements, I'll mark the sleeve length. How long I want the sleeve to be and then I'll add two inches for folding so that you take the whole of the material I actually measured it out before I folded it so so we are using the old material then from there we're going to mark a shoulder slope where the sleeve measurement stop and I'm going to go down by 1.5 inches for shoulder slope then I'll come to the center and mark the neckline 3 inches. So from these 3 inches, I'll draw a line, a slant line to connect it to the shoulder slope. And then I'm going to mark the neck deep for the back. So the neck deep I'll be using for the back neckline is 2 inches. So I'll mark 2 inches. Then I will use a cuff ruler to connect the two marking, the neck deep and the neck width. Then at where the sleeve stop, I'm going to mark the sleeve circumference, the angle. I want it to be to be nine inches wide, so I'm, I'll mark nine inches. So after marking the nine inches, I'll measure what I have from the shoulder line, the first line I marked down to the sleeve. And what I have here is 10.5 so I'll come down here and mark 10.5 starting from the shoulder line and then I'll draw a line to connect and then from this point now I'll enter the hip measurement I'll enter the hip measurement and I'll add 3 inches allowance so the hip measurement I'm working with is 48 Divided by 4 will give me 12. Remember, this plot is folded into 4. So I'll mark 12 inches. Then I'll add 3 inches allowance. You know, it's kimono and it needs to be free. I'm going to mark the same thing to the end line. So what I have here is 15 inches. I'll mark 15 inches down to the end line. Then I'll draw a line to connect. Then I will come to this underarm and make a cuff so that the sleeve will relax. So I will just make a little cuff. That's it. I'm going to cut this out. So 
so this is it i'm going to take out the back pattern then i'll work on the front neckline now it's remaining only the front pattern then i'll go ahead and mark the front neckline and cut it out for the front i'll come down to this point i'll go in by two inches and then i'll draw a line to connect to this neck width at this point i did not know that my camera has stopped recording what i actually did is that the two inches i mark at this point i marked the same two inches down to the end line and then i used a ruler to connect it to form a straight line and then i cut it out and that brings us to this point and now we have this for the front pattern so now i'll bring in the back pattern and we start sewing right away so this is the back pattern and then i'll place the front pattern on it with the right side facing each other going to be like this yes just align and make sure everything is equal so look at it this is the front pattern this is the back i'll align it at the neck line and then i'll run a stitch at the shoulder line to the sleeves and then i'll do the same thing to this other side and i'll bring it back so i've joined the front pattern and the back pattern at the shoulder line so now the next thing i'll do is to stitch the side together arrange it where like so then i will run a stitch from the sleeve down to the end i'll do the same thing to the other side and then we move to the next stitch so i'll finish stitching the side so after stitching the side you go ahead and notch the underarm so that the sleeve will relax just a little notch be careful not to cut into your seam then i'll notch this other side and the next thing i will do is to cut out the collar i'll measure around so i'll measure from this side from the end line down round the collar straight to the end line so this is the collar i cut out 2.5 inches on fold if you open it up like this it will be five inches then i've gone ahead to iron a paper stay on it what i measured earlier that i cut and then i've gone ahead to join it because it was the length of the material wasn't up to the length you are supposed to cut so i had to cut two pieces and then join it together you can see my joining here so now i'll bring in a, a kimono and show you i'm going to fix this so i'll fold this collar into two i fold the lens into two like this and the center is actually where i join the collar and then to fix the collar i'll turn this to the right side so now this is the right side of the fabric then to fix this collar i'll fold it to the length and at the center of the collar i'll mark it the center is actually where i joined the collar so i'll know i'll look for the center back and here is the center back this point here is the center back so i'm going to place this collar the midpoint of the collar i'll place it at the center back of the collar it's going to be like this then i'll use a pin to hold it and then i'll start sewing from the center back then i'll just use my hand and be controlling the color as i'm sewing it down to the end and after sewing this side i'll turn over to this side and sew this 
and sew it as well. So I finished fixing the collar and look at it here. You can see. So now I will fold the hem of the sleeve and then I will also fold the hem line, the main hem. Then after folding, I will iron this. That will be all. So I will just give my kimono a good press and then put it on a mannequin. So you see. I finished stitching and this is what we have. It came out really nice. I also made a short pant for this kimono jacket, as you can see in the picture. This short pant has two side pockets and elastic band at the back. So if you want to know how I made this short pant, I will put the link in the description. Go ahead and check it out. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, don't forget to like this video, comment, and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye!